how to resize Twitch clips for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and even Instagram Reels. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool tool called Cross Clips that allows you to really easily convert your Twitch clips into a video size that is compatible with TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and even Instagram Reels. And then you can even combine multiple of these clips into what's called a cross clip montage, which is really good for sharing across social media. To do this, we're gonna be using a tool called CrossClip. CrossClip is a browser-based tool, so you don't have to download any third-party software. We can easily do this within the browser on our computer, Chromebook, something like that. And before we get too far in this video, I do wanna thank CrossClip for sponsoring this video. Thank you for your support. All right, so to get started with resizing our Twitch clips, all we need to do is go to crossclip.com and check the description of a direct link down there as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. Once you get the cross clip, just simply go up into the top right and select login. And then from here, you can select your desired login preference. I'm just gonna use Twitch because that's easier. Then you just connect your Twitch channel to cross clip and they're only getting access to your email. That's just so they can email you when your clips are ready. So go ahead and select authorize. Once you've logged in, go ahead and select create clip in the top right. And then we have two different ways to get those clips from Twitch. So first you can go to the clip on Twitch and then simply copy the URL and paste it in right here. You can also upload a video. So if you've downloaded your clip and you wanna upload it, you can simply upload it. Keep in mind that if you have a free version of CrossClip, it's gonna be limited to 100 megabytes. So go ahead and add your clip, either uploading it or through a link to your Twitch clip and then select get clip. Once you add your clip, you'll then be taken to where you can edit and create the output video for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or even YouTube Shorts. And one of my favorite things about CrossClip compared to their competitors is that you can include different layers. So I can include my webcam at the top and then have my gameplay below that. And you can add additional layers as well. So if I wanted to capture the map of a game or maybe the comments, I can include that in my TikTok video very easily. So now that we're in cross clips, let's go ahead and go over all the different menu items here. So over here, this is going to be your original clip and you can see the borders of the different layers that you'll have in your output clip. Down here, we have the timeline so we can quickly trim off sections of our clip so that our output video only includes what we want it to include. Over here, you have an example of what your output video will look like. Then over here on the right, we can go get into some of the settings for the output. First, you can select the format for your output. As you can see, they have TikTok and YouTube Shorts. They have landscape if you're just gonna upload it to YouTube. And then you can get a square, which is perfect for Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels. After that, we have the ability to blur our background. So if when you resize it, you don't take up the entire section of the video, you can have it either blur the background or if you turn that off, it'll just give you a black background, which is good if you wanna have a section where you can add text to the video. And then right here, we have the watermark and outro. If you're using the free version of CrossClip, there will be a small watermark, and then there's a very short outro to the video that just says CrossClip. Right here, we have layers. These layers right here are going to be the portions of your original clip that are captured and then resized. So as you can see here, I have a camera, and I have that placed at the top right here, and then I have the actual gameplay that is just centered. I can delete these or change the shape of them by selecting the drop down to the right. And I can even unlock it where if I wanted to have it freeform, I could do that as well. You can also add additional layers if you wanna capture a different portion of your video. This can be good if you wanna include maybe your chat or anything else you want. For an example, I'm just going to do the map up here. So now I have my webcam, my game, and then I have the map so people can see that. Below in the editor options, this is where you can just remove these borders. So I can remove the input borders so I can see the whole thing or the output borders so I can see exactly what my output will look like. Now, if when you're using cross clip, you don't wanna just have zoomed section of your clip. We can have it so the entire video is included with a border on the top and the bottom by first deleting the camera layer right here. And then when we go to content, make sure that that is landscape. So now we can just resize content in the input section to make it the whole thing. And then when we go over here, we can resize this so that it is just the widescreen with no zoom. Now up here with the blur background, we can either turn that on or off. And then as you can see, the output includes the entire clip with the border on the top and the bottom, which is perfect for adding text or links, something like that. With mine though, I'm gonna include the webcam and then the gameplay as well. And I'll just adjust that so if it's a little bit better. Once you're done editing your video and you're happy with the output here, all you need to do to create your clip is go up on the top right, select compile. You can come up with a title for it. 
And then you can select your FPS and also the quality. Keep in mind, if you're using the free version of CrossClip, you'll be limited to 720 output. Once you're done, go ahead and select Start Compilation, and then it's gonna compile the video for you. Once your video is done compiling, you can watch it, and at the bottom here, you can even download it or share it. You also have the ability to upload it to TikTok. And then once you've created clips on CrossClip, you can then download and install the CrossClip companion app on iOS and Android. And if we open that up, log into your account, you can see your clips there. From there, you can select the clip and then share it to the apps directly on your phone. So if you wanna share it to TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, you can do that directly from your phone. You don't have to download it and then upload it. All right, the last thing I wanna show you in this video is how you can combine these clips that you created on CrossClip to create a montage, which will be a longer video containing all the clips that then you can share out to your social media. So to do that, once you've created multiple clips on CrossClip, simply go to crossclip.com, select your profile picture up here in the top right, and then go to my clips. This is where you can see all the different clips you created. And from here, just select create montage. You can give it a name, and then you can select your transition type. So this is gonna be the transition between the clips. They have several different transition types, really cool. I'm gonna do the smooth up. And then right here, we just need to select the clips we wanna add. I'll select all three of my Twitch clips. After that, select add clips. Then we're done, just select create montage. It'll compile that just like it did with our previous clip. Well, then it will load. We can share it out to our social media or even TikTok from here, and it'll show up in the companion app too where we can share it as well. Now, for a quick example of the actual transition, you can see it right here. It just is a quick, smooth transition and it'll do that between all the different clips in the montage. Then when I go back to my clips here, I can see that the montage is right there and it's even labeled so that I can easily recognize it. All right, so that's how you use cross clips to easily resize your Twitch clips into a format that is compatible with TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, and even YouTube Shorts. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Twitch tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.